Welcome, hoarders. Today we're going to be playing some more Gran Turismo 5. Um, today we're going to be doing the... I don't remember what it is. It's under the Expert uh, Cup. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, or the Expert Series. Okay, it's going to be the Historic Racing Car Cup Challenge. Or, not challenge, it's just the, uh, the Car Cup. I decided to go with the uh, 69 Camaro on this one, though, um, with the race modifications. If you don't have the race modifications, there's, like, no way that you're going to get this. Oh, my God. Do you see how quick that car's going? I mean, he's behind us now, but he was zipping right at the beginning. Gonna do whatever I can to get up front as fast as possible. Um, because if you're not up there, you are not going to win. Obviously, but, uh, Jesus. They're both just zipping. I'll get him on the turns and stuff. I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about the straight stretches, though. I mean, they're with an eye shot. So, that's definitely a good thing compared to some of the races I've done. Where, uh, I, I tried this race several times. Um and found that I needed a much different car than what I originally attempted to do it with, which was a uh, 1970 Chevelle, which, I mean, it was good and all, but not good enough. This guy's gonna be a troublemaker. I don't know how he goes so quick. I don't own that car though. That's the big issue. I originally had in my mind that I had to own that car in order to win this race, which is absolutely not true at all. Come on. I just need to hit those quick digits. Because if I get in front of him, I can hold him off. fucking couch. That's what it looks like. It looks like he's driving a goddamn couch. Okay, I'm in front of him now, which I'm going to use the same tactic that I used the first time that I beat this race, which was just don't let him pass. On the straight stretches, not all of them, but there's like one straight stretch that you have to worry about him. Uh, the rest, he's not a problem at all. Like, he gets reasonably close here. Um, but the straight stretch that goes across the finish line is the one you want to worry about. hit that decently good. Actually, the Toyota 7 is, I think, more of the issue vehicle. Like, the one that I had the most problems with, which he's now uh, in second. Oh. Don't be doing too much stuff like that. Or we're not going to be up here very long.
I don't even think I've done any, uh, any actual first person view of this at all. It's a nice car, but I switch views because the first time I tried this, I messed up extremely bad. Like, it put me way off of where I needed to be. Just because of the, like, the depth perception was changed quite a bit. Okay, he's pretty close. But the thing is, on the final lap, all I have to do is be ahead of him up until that point. But this guy decides that he wants to actually race. Which he's not going to win. I'm telling you that right now. This is the most nerve-wracking race I've done in a long time. Because usually there's zero fear in me actually losing. This one, I cannot say that... I can't say for a fact I'm going to win or not. Like most races, I'm like, oh, I'm going to win. This is going to take nothing. This one, you know if a video doesn't come out on a Wednesday or a Thursday when it's supposed to, it's most likely due to this. Oh, no, he's ripping. He's ripping. He ain't getting me this time. No, no, no. I said no, 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 no. I don't do it no more. We got it. We got it. We got it. We absolutely got it. We 100 billion percent got it. Suck it. We came in first and then immediately get passed by the two most difficult cars to beat in this entire game. Oh my. Oh, I looked up. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go fully level with you. I was like, is there a vehicle in this game that can beat these two cars other than these two cars themselves? I looked up a video and some guy was using a uh, Corvette, or not a Corvette, the same Camaro, and I was like, okay, I'll try that because um, I want to get this episode done. And what happened, he ended up uh, getting a lap of eight minutes and six seconds here. I just did eight or I just did six minutes and 16 or something like that. Wow. That was a difficult race. Um, on to the second one, which hopefully is not as bad. And I also have not even tried yet. Okay. This one's also another five lapper, but I don't know this track at all, I don't think. Ooh. This one I think I'll be better at, though, just due to the fact that it looks like there's not as many of those really bumpy mountain passes, which I hate. Like, it's fun to drive on there, but when you're trying to win, it's strange. Okay, they're accelerating pretty quick. But I break later than everyone else. I'll drift this bitch if I have to. Dude, how does he have so much acceleration? He's accelerating when he's hitting the damn brakes. I'll cut you off like no one's business, bud. Okay, I do believe I know this track. Okay, that car up there is going to be a little bit difficult to get ahead of. But once I get ahead of it, there's no worries after that. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> This is too difficult of a race series so far. The fact that I did not really wreck there um, is strange to me. I feel like I really should have. I think the thing that this car has over me by a large margin 
other than obviously acceleration, is that he has much better steering. I don't think I'm gonna catch up to him unless he wrecks. But yet again, there are those sharp turns which I caught up to him last time. Um, that might be my uh, way in this. I don't know. We'll see. It seems like I'm not making any progress whatsoever. Break late. Cut him off. Bitch. <laughs> That's how you win right there. Just wreck him. Just wreck him. You can't win, wreck him. If I have to race dirty against AIs, I will. I won't do that against real-life people unless they really deserve it. That's wonderful. I'm so happy now. Now he's going to come back for revenge, probably. He has better acceleration than me, but not that much better. I, I think after having to actually back up and get re like restarted, I think that might have ruined him for the race. I hope. I mean, usually with AI in games, they're set to be able to catch up to you no matter what, basically. Depending on what game it is. Like, uh, The Crew 2? Yeah, they, they, they'll they get up to you no matter what. It's basically like GTA Cops. If you're going 4 billion miles an hour, they'll go 6 billion. Remember that corner, buddy? You try to pass me, you'll be in that wall again. I don't like these turns so far. I mean, that vehicle is difficult to stay ahead of. Mostly due to the fact that it has a goddamn rocket attached to the back of it. I mean, he's about as far as he was the previous lap, so I'm thinking we might be okay. Might. As long as I keep my composure and he stays behind me, we'll be good. We will be good. So glad I turned down the, uh, the torque on this. I mean, you want torque, but I have it just enough where it's decently difficult to get the back end to slip out. I took the turn the correct way for once. Please don't hate me for that. almost hit that wall. My heart sank. A lot. I was like, I just messed up this entire race. 
on the beginning of the last lap. No. I feel like Sandy Cheeks. No, you ain't. You stay back there. All I have to do is not choke at this race. Oh, he's, he's getting farther back. I like that. Fuck it, I'm cutting that corner again. I need everything I can get. Oh my god, we won both of them. Oh, That is a difficult race. Very, very difficult. Oh my god. We beat it. That means we should win a car. Actually, this will be like the first car we ever won on this game. On camera. Oh my gosh. Actually, now that I think of it, that race of the, the other YouTuber I looked up, I'm thinking maybe that 806 or 807 or whatever it was might have been the second race. Because I skipped around in the video. So if it was, I, I didn't mean to brag that I was better when I clearly wasn't. <laughs> my bad. Okay. So we got that. We should, should we not win a prize if we won that whole cup? Because that, I've never beat that before. I never got a gold trophy on either one of those races. So we completed the whole puzzle here then. Um, obviously, I'm going like a book, top left to bottom right. Um, I already did those four, these upper four. So then next time is going to be the turbo challenge, assuming that that means just any car with a turbo. Um, so we will have to see. Uh, I'll, I'll have that ready by the next episode. I do want to see, though, if I won a car. Well, on here is not winning a car. It's getting a delivery. Um, ooh, I did. Um, okay. I haven't heard that sound in a very long time. Let's see our uh, new cars. It looked like the one set of a Stratos. A Stratos. Um, yes, I love this car. Um, yes, I want to receive that item. Why would I not want it? Is it blue, though, with the gold rims? Not gold, like brass-looking rims. Like, I like the blue ones, and I like the green ones. Mostly the blue ones, though. Is it blue? Nope, it is the, uh, what do they call that? Um, what's that brand? There's a gas brand or something like that. That sounds old. Um, okay, so let's go see the other car, then, too. Uh, before we end this episode. And then next week I'm going to have to have that prepared, whatever the other uh, vehicle is going to be. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay, so I get, it's just any level 17 car. Is that what it is? Like I win a random level 17 car? Hopefully it's something, you know, not garbage. 
It's probably going to be something I already own, to be honest. Um, that's a GTR, isn't it? Or an old Skyline. Uh, I don't want to use the car right now, but I do want the car. Um, okay, so that's probably going to be it for this episode then. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, check out one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my social medias in the description down below.